as a dentist is also quite low. So he says, okay, basically he said, if, if, if the jazz clarinet stuff never works, you end up as a pretty cool dentist who plays jazz clarinet. And if you do succeed, you're a jazz clarinetist who never have to starve. And so either way, you kind of win. Which is, so his idea is that's a way of devising your life so you're kind of a convex to uh, randomness, in a sense. You know, you say, I don't really know what the future is going to bring, but what, I do, what I've done is I've got these two bets. There's the upside bet, and then there's the kind of downside protection. And it's quite an interesting philosophical way of looking at things. Um, and the other one is that point about the dartboard. I mean, it suddenly occurs to me that Chicago, now this is going to be really controversial, but Chicago, which is the second or third biggest city in the United States, is actually a lot nicer than New York, isn't it, on balance? I'm really scared <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm you know what I mean? It's much more easy to go. I mean, you know, actually, you know, I mean, there are huge advantages here, in a sense. Did you see my point? Yeah. Yeah. But actually, there is that advantage to aiming for number two or number three, not number one. Because the other problem about aiming for number one is you're competing with all the other people who are obsessed with being number one, which makes life unneedlessly stressful. You know what I mean? If you go into one of those high, it's like Harvard Law School or something. Right. Uh, you know, if you if basically you're competing with people who are insanely competitive, then the costs are pretty high. Okay. Whereas what you want to be is in that top sort of decile where it's pretty good, but it's not insane. And also the cost of failure is probably lower. Because we that's a really important point we often forget, which is, I mean, it's an interesting question which is sometimes asked about things like Ivy League school. Yes. Which is, okay, some people will always leave an Ivy League school and go on to do incredibly well, okay? But no one's looking at the cost of the people who don't do that. And, it's, and that there is debate which says that actually going, going to Harvard and being in the bottom quartile is much, much